Hello, the book. It's been a while since I've submitted one of my introspective monologues. But after careful review into the McMurrin archives, I feel as if I found a McNugget worth sharing. As a good many of you may know, I have the pleasure of sharing the same genetic makeup of one of today's most talented and comedic thespians slash writers, Brad McMurrin. If you're a friend or a follower of Brad's, then you know the extensive catalog of transcendentalism only rivaled by Ralph Waldo Emerson or Jack Handy. Tonight, we will reflect on a plea for personal acceptance as well as a journey of self-improvement. So now, let us sit back and relax and enjoy one of the best self-loathing big moments ever proclaimed by my cousin entitled, I'm Breaking Up with Brad McMurrin. Starting today, June 12th, I have decided to break up with myself. That's right, you heard it. I'm breaking up with Brad because he has become a shadow of himself lately. Brad has been treating me horribly, and I'm sick of his behavior. When I first started dating Brad, he was great. He made me laugh. He made other people laugh. He was full of confidence, life, and genuinely made me smile. Now he's become a soft pancake, and I'm done with Brad. I know some of you may ask, wait, how does one break up with themselves? Easy. You do what I do and just dump his ass. Move on. I don't have time anymore to deal with this effed up redhead's feelings. When your relationship with yourself becomes as dramatic, pathetic, and stupid as mine has been with myself lately, it's time. Will I miss Brad? Hell no! I may miss what Brad used to be, but I will not miss this giving, caring, wussy, emotional, effed up Brad. Not at the least. Brad sucks. Just for the record, Brad, I will not miss your fat body, your plotting schemes, your alcohol abuse, your having no balls, your same clothes wearing, your calling your own name out during sex, your incessant sadness, your messy house, you're thinking everyone is a sketch comedy show, you're giving till you have nothing left, your lack of growth, irresponsibility, your Peter Pan complex, your man boobs, and the way you've been treating me. Really, Brad? How could you expect me to listen to all of your feelings all the time? Brad, you become a fruit. I dated you because you were fun, energetic, humorous, and wildly romantic. But now all you are is a scared puss cake. It's over, loser, and don't ever try calling me again because I deleted you from Facebook and my phone. So hello, everyone. Say hello, everyone, to the new Brad. He is so much better and hotter and much more well endowed than that old shadow of a Brad I used to know. I will not ask any of our friends to take sides in this horrible breakup. However, I think you'll know the true nature of that old Brad. He sucks. Oscar La Vista fat pants.